What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button up top. Today is gonna be, I don't even know how to explain today's video. Yes. Yeah, it's it's not clickbait. It's not clickbait. Um, I don't even know where to begin. So should I start or you wanna start telling the story? I mean, I'll give them the beginning of it and then you can go ahead and just let them know everything that happened. Basically, Janice has been having some type of discomfort down in that area for, thanks babe. For some time, dang, your nails are sharp. No, I know, I just got them done yesterday. Just carved my Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Janice has been having like some type of discomfort down there in her like woman areas. So we went ahead, we went to the GYN, the doctor, and they did an ultrasound. Thank God the ultrasound came back as like, everything looks the same, somewhat. Like mm -hmm. everything is like normal. There's nothing to be alar alarmed. Alarms? There's nothing to be alarmed of. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna let you take it from here. I basically, Backtrack for those who don't know I got surgery done uh, to remove endometrioma and a bunch of stuff like that I have issues with my ovaries because I have endometriosis I got a surgery done two years ago to kind of clean everything up and Take out cysts. That was the biggest thing That's the whole reason why we went to get an ultrasound because I wanted to make sure I didn't have any cysts because when you have cysts it just messes up my whole body entirely and so when I started to feel pain I was like I definitely want to be on top of it and figure out if you know they're back so that's what the ultrasound was for they said i didn't have any cysts so now fast forward and we have this meeting um with after the ultrasound technician left um the nurse practitioner at my gyn <clears throat> we were kind of talking and um a couple months ago i was on a medication that basically kept my endometriosis like tame in a sense um, so I didn't have my menstrual for two years, but with that came a lot of like terrible side effects and I just wanted to get off of it. And then that leads us to this because she was like, I mean, if you get off of it, we had this discussion. She was like, you know, you're risking getting cysts or risking, you know, things happening. And I, I was just to a point where it was affecting my mental health. My hair was falling out. I was feeling like so low and that I just, in my opinion, that's just not a life that I would want to live. And since I had gotten the surgery and it was like already like two years since, you know, I didn't have anything. I was just like, okay, so I'm just gonna take this risk and get off of it. If I need to go back on it, like, I guess I'll just have to do what I have to do. But considering Isaiah and I are getting married in October, we want to have kids soon. And you have to be off of that medication for a long time before you try to have kids. So I just wanted to get my menstrual back into a normal cycle and be able to, you know, conceive without any like doubts or anything like that. I needed it out of my system. She told me that since I got off the Myfembri, um, before my uterus was mobile, so they can kind of just like move around and see everything in there. And she said this time around, my uterus does not move. She said that's an issue. And she asked me if in my previous surgery that they like moved anything around in there. And I said, no, they just cleaned everything out. Um, that thing stuck. Yeah, so she said, that's not a good thing because it just means my endometriosis is getting worse. Uh, so she recommended a surgery just for a few reasons. If I just leave my endometriosis how it is now, she already said it's getting worse. So that just means that it's gonna progressively get worse and worse and worse and worse. And that means that I'm gonna be in just way more pain on a day-to-day -day basis. And she asked me like what my pain level is now. And I told her it's kind of like a four on a daily. And she said, that's still a lot. But since I'm used to it, I just kind of like, it's a normal for me. But um, for this surgery, she kind of just said, she's going to do a dye test. And that's what's really important because she's asking, what are your plans for children this is really the biggest issue here is like if i keep pushing off all of these things like it will affect my chances of having children and that's the biggest thing we want right now we want to have kids and we're at a point in our life where we're ready for it um but i always just wanted to get married first and i think that was my biggest thing and so she said in june she would recommend getting a surgery and what they would do is kind of move things around so that my uterus is mobile again and everything's not stuck together 
and they will also perform a dye test where they'll send um, dye through my fallopian tubes and see if there's any blockage um, because that would determine if I'm able to have children 100% or not and if that goes through then we're gonna have no issues but God forbid it doesn't then I mean we'll take the steps from there I didn't even ask any questions whereas like if it doesn't because I have faith in God that it'll be fine um, and then you know God forbid there are any blockages we'll deal with it when the time comes but that's pretty much where we're at so I think I covered everything because we like to keep you updated on my yeah. life so so you can tell them like the timeline and like all that stuff I mean obviously you guys heard that she wants to get married first before having kids um, so that's obviously going to be coming in October. However, she might get the surgery. Have you decided? Yes. Are you still, you're going with it? Yeah. All right. So she's going to go ahead and go through with the surgery. Don't know if it's going to be in June or not, because obviously that's up to the doctor's discretion. They have to book it, but she's going to get the surgery sometime within the next, I guess, two months or something like that. After that, everything is going to be great. She, you should be comfortable because after last time they like cleaned you out, you felt great. You said you were like at your best yeah so it's probably gonna be a repeat you're gonna feel great afterwards then we're gonna have the wedding you're gonna feel great at the wedding and then we start making a baby after the wedding the only thing i would say is that it's just like it's not it's not like as easy as you're like explaining though you're like you're gonna feel great everything's gonna be great like the recovery is three months i understand so but again i have faith in god always did always will and after every time you've had a surgery no matter what type of surgery it was everything always ended up great yeah you never had any issues the recovery is recovery obviously it, it's gonna suck depending on what it is mm. but everything always went smooth everything was always with no issues and i feel like it's just gonna be a repeat you're gonna be great you're gonna recover fine we have the wedding we go on the honeymoon do a little you know eat -er, eat -er, and then oh, we have a baby coming in 2025 Oof. it's gonna be a boy everyone okay. thinks it's gonna be a boy everyone thinks it's gonna be a boy yeah like everybody I can't, you imagine it's a girl. I'm happy either way. But I, re um, I really do feel like it's gonna be a boy first. I low key, like, if we do get pregnant before we get married, that I feel like that would be like even better just because another thing she told me is that to keep my endometriosis at bay, being pregnant basically quiets down the endometriosis so I won't have any flare ups. And then if I breastfeed afterwards, praying to God that I am able to breastfeed since my uh, breast reduction but it would also help um because it shoots something through your body and you won't have your period and all that stuff so my plan is to have all my babies back to back to back and then be able to get like a hysterectomy and just never have to deal with endometriosis again Bro, we're gonna have like from just being us two like it's only us two right now obviously yeah. we have blooper but you know he's a dog but he's star song he's not but baby stiff. we're gonna go from like just us two to having like a family of like in total of like five yeah because we want three like, kids quick yeah so i feel like it's gonna be a major switch up for you guys as well you're gonna be like <laughs> whoa like i remember just them two and then it's just gonna be like a kid and another kid and then yeah. another kid and then yeah but i mean this is all like our mental plans yeah. we don't know what god's plan is so i'm kind of just like i know what i want but at the end of the day god is doing what god wants to do with our lives so i'm just leaving it up to god there it's are... also crazy though not to cut you off is that it's not always up to you though i know like it can be the guy that cannot be can can be the reason why she's not getting fertile mm -hmm. like you know what i mean like that's also a possibility that i feel like a lot of people don't ever think about like what if it's the guy that's the issue yeah so obviously we're gonna try when the time is right we're gonna try and god forbid any difficulties do arise that's when now we're gonna start running tests she has to go run tests i gotta go run my own test and then we'll figure out a solution but either way something good is gonna happen yeah we're already start like going to I, this is the only reason why i'm like okay let's go through with the surgeries because like they're gonna do that dye test mm. like that is a huge determining factor of like what's going on and and especially because like yeah, there's nothing to see like everyone's just like we can't really see what's going on like everything's just so cluttered so yeah the only way is to go in there and look yeah and so. fix it and you know unfortunately ho yeah hopefully after that like i feel a lot better thank god they don't see no cysts though yeah that, that's, that the, was that's the best a, thing yeah that was a big thing just the bad news is that her endometriosis is getting powerful it's getting stronger yeah but we're gonna get that surgery and we're gonna knock that 
down. Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to let you guys know, obviously we like to give you guys updates on our lives and stuff like that. This is the latest update with her, with us I should say. Yeah man, so we're gonna get the surgery, we're gonna clean you up, have our marriage and we're gonna go ahead and start trying for a baby afterwards. With all that being said guys, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have any experience or knowledge on what's going on right now, drop it down below in the comments. Any prayers you guys have as well, any positivity is accepted of course. Is that it babe? Yeah, that's it. All right, with all that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video.